Lord of the Rings is a quintessential fantasy story. It's what we think about when we think of fantasy. It has this mythic dimension to it. Magic really was inspired in so many ways by the Lord of the Rings. It's the original fantasy. It's the classic. And it seems a very natural crossover to view the Lord of the Rings and those stories and those characters through this lens. And we knew that the property was very safe with Wizards of the Coast. There were so many things that we imagine when we read the stories that we want to bring to life. It was an exciting challenge and an exciting opportunity to bring these two properties together. What does it mean to bring the ring, the one ring, into the magic universe? We went about designing the one ring as a mythic rare in the set. You're going to open that up in draft boosters and set boosters and collector boosters. What are other ways to capture that connection between magic and Middle Earth? Tolkien's words were so important to us. We wanted to carry his spirit in everything we were doing in the land of Mordor where the shadows lie. One ring to rule them all. One ring to find them. One ring to bring them all. And in the darkness bind them. We thought, what if we're so faithful we have one of one of the One Ring? Magic came to us with this one of one, the One Ring card. In my head, I was just thinking, yes, yeah, that, uh, that makes sense, that tracks, that's obviously yes. We took the One Ring and we created a serialized one of one version. This is the only copy of the one of one ring that's ever going to exist. One person is going to open it up out of an English collector booster. While it's not mechanically unique, we wanted to make it aesthetically unique. This is the only place you're gonna see this version of the art. It has a foil treatment that highlights the inscription. We want the experience when that player opens the pack to be worth all of the effort and all of the love that we've poured into it and it's for a single card. It makes it all as mysterious and desirable as the One Ring itself. If you ever see it, you'll know. Is that it? Is this true? Is it there? Is this real? I know that a lot of people are gonna be very excited. It's like you're making someone become Sauron or Frodo. You are a ring bearer. Its fate is unknown. The ring will be found when it wants to be found. We wanted to go and find more connection to the story, more ways to hit on these rings that were created. Three rings for the elven kings under the sky. Seven for the dwarf lords in their halls of stone. Nine for mortal men doomed to die. In Lord of the Rings, this is a powerful artifact that someone can wield. And in the world of magic, Soul Ring was the best place for those rings of power to live Soul Ring as a magic card, it's the most played card in Commander. It's incredibly powerful. It really offered a fun way to do a collectible version of Soul Rings in a non-foil version. And then also in a serialized double rainbow, I know they're gonna be beloved. I'm excited about seeing how fans react to the vision that we brought. Everyone has just poured a lot of passion into this project. It was just absolutely palpable how much they appreciated these stories. And so we're all excited about the one of one, the one ring card, but there's also so much in store that fans are going to be excited for, and I'm excited for them to see it.